Look, we're going to talk about this. Don't worry about that. But what we need to address first is the fact that Atlanta got renewed for a second season. And I know you got a part for me, right? You... What's going on, everybody? It's the granddad of Granddad Wooly, and you are here again for another edition of Wooly Reviews. Should have been hip hop data, but for some strange reason, it transformed into R&B slash soul data. We got an album review today. We're going to be talking about the brand new album that just fucking dropped from a nigga who just does every goddamn thing and everything he does, apparently he's fucking good at. This nigga's like a fucking wizard or some shit. I don't know who the fuck he is or how the fuck he does all this shit, but goddamn it, nigga's dope. This nigga's back. He dropped this new shit. He is singing nigga now, talking about the new album from Childish Gambino entitled Awaken my love. Now, for those who don't know, Childish Gambino, a.k.a. Donald Glover, is an actor slash comedian slash rapper slash writer slash now a fucking singer slash every other thing that you could do as a profession this nigga probably has done or has dabbled in, and he's probably fucking was the best at everything. God damn it, who the fuck is this nigga? He's not from this planet. I know he's not. But now he's come back with his third official studio album. It's a follow-up to 2013's Because the Internet and that album was actually pretty okay. I, I didn't mind it. It wasn't. It didn't blow me away. Some songs on there were really good, especially "Crawl." That was my shit. That the fuck production was crazy. But I was never really big into Gambino on the music side. I liked him. I respected his bars. He got great bars. He's got great technique. But I've always liked the stuff he did outside of music. I like his acting shit better. I like his comedian shit better. I just I just gravitated toward the Donald Glover side more than Childish Gambino. And with Atlanta success, you can see the fuck why. But now he's back with a new album. It's been a hot minute. And he's switching it up now. He ain't doing the rap thing. He's on his singing shit. So now let's see if Awaken My Love has awakened a new thing that Donald Glover can fucking do. That we are just like, nigga, just go somewhere, nigga, with all your fucking excelling and all that shit. You're making us look bad. Or if Awaken My Love should be put to sleep because this album's goddamn horrible. Let's talk about the shit. And when I first popped in this album and I tuned into the production, I quickly realized that I was in some new territory and I was about to experience some different shit that I never was going to thought I was going to experience with a Gambino album. This album on the production side really just focuses on a sort of psychedelic throwback R&B soul funk aspect to it. It sounds like some shit that you would hear from the Parliament Funkadelic days, the George Clinton Booty Collins, that type of shit. And God damn it, I, look, I'm a fan of that shit, y'all. I grew up listening to that type of stuff, and it is, sounds so fucking good and authentic. The production on here is all done by Gambino and his homeboy, hold on, it's Ludwig Goranson. G Goranson? I, don't, I can't ever pronounce that nigga's name, but yo, these two got together. They did the majority or all the production on here. They got some other fucking like instrumental motherfuckers to come in and do some shit, but for the most part, this sound all comes from their minds, and I gotta say, the production on this album is fucking fantastic, it's phenomenal, the layering, the detail, just everything about it is just so fucking on point, and it's like they encapsulated that era and that time of music so fucking well that it sounds so natural and authentic. You can tell that Gambino put some time into this and really kind of focused on what he wanted the sound to be and really went after it and made sure that it was done to the T exactly as it should be. And I gotta say, overall with this album, the fucking production is the most impressive part of it to me. They use so many different types of instruments and integrate them so well. You got the live drums, you got the dope types of percussion of all kinds, you got glockenspiels and fucking whirlitzers and fucking guitars of all kinds, electric guitars and organs and synths and any fucking thing that fucking makes a goddamn sound they probably put into this shit and I gotta say like I mean I mean there's nothing really much to say about this production other than when you hear it you can tell that a lot of attention and detail and just fucking meticulous just little parts here and there that were just put in there to really just enhance and boost the sound and the quality of the production and of this album overall and I gotta say I've never been impressed with someone who really hasn't dove into this type of music before in their previous albums and going in once doing it this way god damn it Gambino did a good fucking job basically just on the production itself this shit sounds just like some throwback shit I got some like I said some booty collar vibes, some Funkadelic vibes, George Clinton vibes, I even got some Prince vibes from some songs. It's like he just hit all these different elements of soul and R&B and funk and just all these throwback vibes and he just 
encapsulated them in this one album so goddamn well that shit. If you if you ain't getting hit in the feels, if you don't feel the feels of this fucking production, you are a soulless motherfucker because the shit is just oozing out of this album from start to finish. So goddamn it, I gotta give it up to Gambino and Ludwig on the production of this shit because it is phenomenal. And honestly, when I first heard it, because it was so unexpected and different. I really wasn't like vibing with it at first because I didn't expect this from Gambino. But as I listened to this album more and more and every listen, it just got better and better until I really just picked up all the little things that they put in these fucking tracks. And I was like, yo, this is a genius ass album. And this nigga Gambino just does not know how to not be good at some shit. Like nigga fail once, just do it once or show us you failed before nigga so we can believe it. Cause I don't believe you ever failed at shit nigga. Now speaking of Gambino, let's see what this nigga done did. Cause like I said, he is singing nigga now. He's singing straight up and down this motherfucker. So let's see if Gambino gives us some good vocal deliveries. Or if that nigga should just wrap the fucking 16 bar verse and just play the safe nigga. Cause we, we maybe we don't want to hear you singing nigga. Maybe we, we we get that from other places, not not from you, nigga, but we're gonna see. Let's talk about it. Now when it comes to Gambino in his newfound role as singing nigga, I gotta say, on a vocal standpoint, Gambino isn't like blowing me away. He ain't no Luther. He ain't out there like just belting ballads and shit, but he's really playing it safe. But he's also really just kind of playing around with his voice. There's a lot of effects, a lot of vocoder type, you know, I guess you would say auto-tune effects, but done tastefully. But at the same time, he's also just giving us these raw vocals where he's just like showing pure emotion. And even though it probably isn't technically the best singing on here it does like you when you can react to that raw emotion that Gambino's giving off it just makes the song sound believable and real and it sounds good and just like the production at first I really wasn't feeling what Gambino was doing but as I kept listening to it and also more importantly listening to the lyrics that he was saying and the way the songs were written I really realized how fucking brilliant and really how dope this motherfucker really is on these songs like the way that he just orchestrates his songs and how he sings his lines and pretty much just how he he just guides the song along with this emotion that he just gives off. It sounds just so believable. Even when he has all these crazy effects and pitch shifts going on, you still get that just emotion and vibe that he was trying to encapsulate with these songs. And it's really dope to see Gambino just pushing the envelope with his music and himself as an artist. And it really ended up paying off in the end because he put together a really fucking dope piece of work that really just shines out through its production and also its songwriting. I mean, those two things in here are just fucking A1. And the fact that he was able to just capture that time and era that he was really trying to express with the sound and the vibe of it, he did a great fucking job. And goddamn it, Gambino, you get a W. I'm not gonna lie, nigga, shit. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm saying a lot of good shit about you. You better put me on that ladder, nigga. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking go back on all this shit. Not really, I still like the shit. I'm still listening to your shit. And when it comes to the features on this album, there isn't many most of the albums done by Gambino but he does have Kari Fox and JD McCrary come in on a couple songs to lend some vocals and they all come in and do some really good work on here nothing too major they kind of have their own little nugget of the song or some little background shit but it does round out the song very well but Gambino for the most part takes the reins on this entire album and he does it fucking well now you know I gotta give you my top five tracks and goddamn it y'all this shit was not easy this time because I like pretty much every fucking song on this album except for one and that song is California and I really don't even hate that fucking song. It's just like it really didn't do much for me. I'm hearing that around the board for a lot of people that California was just that mad song of the album. But I do realize the placement and why that song is there because it is a good lead into the following song which is a really dope song. But I did got my top five here. I got it right here. Shut the fuck up. I thought up. Here we go. It's Me and Your Mama. Have Some Love, and then Redbone, Terrified, and Baby Boy. And I'm going to tell you right now, y'all, those... Like, those are my top five, but I got to say, I got to just shout out Boogeyman. I got to shout out Riot. And I got to shout out, you know, Stand Tall. Even though those aren't in... They, they barely... I mean, I couldn't just... God damn it, the whole album. But those five are the ones that I have to say are my top five. But those other three I mentioned... Honorable mentions, dope songs in their own right. But let me go back to the top. Me and Your Mama, that is the first song and the first single off this entire project. And God damn it, this pretty much sets the tone of what we're going to fucking get out of this Gambino album. And the theme of this song is pretty much talking about Gambino and his baby mama, who we pretty much into saying, yo, we in love right now. And, you know, let me into your heart.
heart because I'm trying. I want to be with you. I love you, but you're not letting me in for some fucking reason. Why? Don't you don't like me? So he's pretty much saying, you know, confessing and professing his love to who would eventually become his baby mama. But yo, it's a dope way to open it up. The fucking production here is fucking crazy. The fucking build up to this shit is fucking crazy. With I. I'm not even gonna sing it, but it's some eerie fucking la 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 shit. I can't, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because I'm fucking everything up, but it's some dope ass intro. Everybody's probably much heard it already. And then it just leads into some great fucking vocals, raw vocals from Childish Gambino doing this thing. So if you've not heard that song, which you probably should have at this point, and it's the first fucking song, don't skip this shit. Listen to it. It's a long ass song, especially the intro. It's long as shit. You think the song's never gonna fucking really start, but when it does kick in, this shit is fucking amazing. Great production on here. Great vocals from Gambino. Love it. Definite standout. Great way to set off the album. Really just gives that energy that it needs to really get us in to what we're going to be experiencing for the rest of the fucking album. The next song is Have Some Love and it's right after Me and Your Mama. And I like the vibe on this one. This is a little bit more low-key and chill from the previous song. But I like this. It's, it's a smooth groove and it does still have that soulful funky vibe to it. I like the fucking theme of this song. It's pretty much Gambino saying, yo, like, yo, we gotta love one another. You know, some shit, it's, got, it's, it's really getting bad right now, so we gotta show love to each other because it's all about the love. So have some love for one another. And you know, because it's hard to find. I'm, I'm gonna stop. Why do, I, why do I keep trying? I'm a rapper. Granddad, you rap. Stop singing, nigga. Shit. But it's a dope fucking song. The production on here is fucking amazing as the entire album. I like the fucking detail in here. You got good percussion, good drums on here, good guitar on here. Gambino singing his ass off on here. He's screaming and shit. Like, I don't, but it sounds good when he's screaming. But yo, overall, great song, great concept, great theme. It's just a fucking standout on this song. So definitely check that shit out. It's a hot one. The next song is Redbone, and this is my favorite fucking song on the entire album, hands down. This is what I call Gambino's Prince moment. This shit is just like, this is like a perfect fucking song to me. I love the production on here, first and foremost. Like the bass on here, it's got that slap heavy, thick bass on here, that funky bass, and then it's got some a Wurlitzer or some synth bells, or I don't know, but it's just like this bling, 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 bling. I think it's a glockenspiel. I know he's using so many fucking instruments. The vocals on here are fucking dope. And he's got this line. I love this fucking line. I don't even know what the fuck it means, but he's my peanut butter chocolate cake with Kool-Aid. I did it again, y'all. I sang it. I, was that better? I don't fucking know. But I had to sing it that way because if I said it rap-wise, it wouldn't have made sense. But that's my fucking line. I love that fucking line. I love the fucking chorus on here. I love the way it builds up. I love the stay woke part because, you know, it's just like everything about this fucking song is just fucking perfect. I think this was the second single, and God damn it, it's a good call on the single. And the instrumental breakdown around the end of the fucking song is just fucking perfect. I mean, God damn it. This song, like, if you don't like this song, you something wrong with you. Like, I don't care who the fuck you are. Once you put this song on, this is like one of them timeless joints. Like Gambino made one of them songs that you can play anytime. Like 10 years from now, you can play this song and it will still give you them same feels and same moments. He, and I don't even know, like straight up, like this is just the perfect song of this entire album. This album is dope, but this song here really just like, just is that shining, defining moment on this album that really shows Gambino is a serious motherfucker and this dude is not from this planet because I don't know how the fuck he keep doing this shit. But it's a dope ass song. Like I said, it's my favorite on the entire album. You gotta check it out because it is so fucking dope. The next song is Terrified, and I really like this song. It's got a real dark, menacing, chilling beat with some nice bells on there and some thick bass as well. But this really leads into the previous song, California, I think. It's pretty much where California kind of talks about how, like, somebody wants to go to California, and they think it's all great and all amazing. And then the song Terrified helps them realize that shit's not as amazing as it seems. This place is fucking terrible. I mean, if you ain't ready for the shit, and like, yo, now you're terrified because you're out here and you know what the fuck to do, and you just gotta live this life and kind of figure out how to navigate through it. So it's, I like the like the way that it just goes from like the bright, optimistic side to the realistic, pessimistic side with this song, and it's just a dope track. Gambino's doing this thing on the vocals as well, and I just like the whole vibe of it, and it really gave me more of an appreciation for California, even though I really didn't like that song that much. I appreciate it more with this song because it's a fucking dope song and I like just how it leads into it. So definitely check it out and you'll understand California more by listening to this song and understanding what this song is about. So it's a dope track, definitely check it out. And the last song is Baby Boy and this one just hit me personally because you know, I'm like Gambino's a new father, I'm a fairly new father, my kid's almost one, y'all, time's flying. But like it's pretty much him talking about like how he's trying to fit in his relationship with his son while also dealing with the turmoil 
turmoil that him and his baby mama are going through on top of also being a successful entertainer and just being able to balance all that so it's a dope song it's a song that really just expresses Gambino in a new light and a personal side of him that's really just something that I can appreciate because I can understand that coming from me like if I had to deal with that shit it'd be, I go fucking crazy too so it's just like a dope song that really just stuck out to me based off that but in, in general it's just a dope fucking song on the production wise and as well as just the singing wise so definitely check that shit out especially if you got a kid because you, you'll understand that shit right straight up especially if you got a son like yo like we gotta we gotta be there for our sons because they, they need us they need the pops they really do but that's my top five track y'all but like i said overall i love this entire project it had to grow on me a lot that's why it took me so long to kind of put this review out because every time i listened to it i really couldn't lock down a real feeling for it because i just got more and more and more out of it like if i review this in a regular time frame i wouldn't have felt the way i felt about it now because like it really took more time for me to really appreciate all the things that Gambino was doing on this album. And I gotta say, this is probably one of Gambino's best albums to me. I mean, like, he's done some great stuff on the rap tip, don't get me wrong, but I think the amount of creativity, the way that he went outside the box and just tried something new and he captured that shit. I enjoyed this album more than I'd say his previous album because of the internet and I've been, and the other stuff too. I mean, there's some, I mean, it's like, cause I haven't really been hype on Gambino, but this is like the album that I can say, yo, I'm a fan of Gambino in this sense. And even his rap stuff is dope too, but for some reason, this shit just really, really, he just did this shit so fucking well. And I gotta give him his props because he knocked it out of the park when nobody expected this shit to happen. I mean, he's been on the roll all goddamn year. A crazy fucking show and now a crazy fucking album, nigga. What else are you going to fucking do? Don't do shit else. So you wait, goddammit. You fucking wait. So my final verdict, I'm not saying that Childish Gambino Awaken My Love is a super dope, well put together, very, very unique and just pushing the envelope type album, especially for Gambino. All I'm saying is that the production on here is fucking phenomenal and it is the true standout of this entire project. Like everything about the production on here, just the layering, the detail, the emotion, the vibe, the soul, the funkiness, everything about it that comes off, it comes off sounding authentic and real. And when it comes to Gambino, his singing isn't like out of this world, but what he did was just so fucking dope. He gives us so much raw emotion and when he does use the effects, on his voice, he does it in a very tasteful and very throwback way that you can really appreciate because it sounds like the lineages of like Prince and Booty Collins and, and George Clinton and all those people who used to do this stuff back in the days. He really encapsulated that and he did it so well. And the songwriting on here is fucking dope as well. I gotta give props to the songwriting because Gambino can write a fucking song so goddamn well and that's what it also stands out. So all I gotta say is that for me, Childish Gambino, Awaken My Love is 100% Granddad approved. Definitely go check it out. It's out right now. It's a dope fucking album. If you're a fan of Gambino, you may be thrown off by it at first, but trust me, listen to this shit. Let it soak into you, and it will really, really just resonate with you, and you will see just how dope this motherfucker really is. But I got nothing more to say. Childish Gambino, Awaken My Love. It's Granddad approved, so go listen to this shit right fucking now, because it's dope. Flip it. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop a comment. Tell me what you think of Childish Gambino, Awaken My Love, if you heard it. If you have not heard it, like I said, it is a great fucking album on the production side, songwriting side. Gambino's doing his damn thing. He really just encompasses, like, all this, like, great era music that we know from the back days. If you ain't heard that shit, go back and listen to that shit and listen to this. You'll see where his influence came from because it is fucking dope. But, I mean, I, I could just ramble on about this album, but it's just fucking good as hell. Listen to the shit, because you will not be disappointed. You may have to grow on you, but once you get it, you will love the shit. Trust me. Previous videos on the side as well as my latest single. Check that out. Show us some love. And as always, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Links in the description below. And subscribe. Button on the screen. Button below. Will the reviews twice a week, as well as CDK studies. And check out the gaming channel, too. And if you're into anything and want your shit spotlighted, info is below. And I got nothing more to say. So until next time, I take my leave. Granddaughter. Childish Gambino. Awaken my love. This nigga is on a roll. First the show, now this. God damn it. Yo, season two, though, Gambino. I better be getting the call. I live here, nigga. There ain't no excuse, nigga. I will drive. I'm showing up on set, and you better let me in, god damn it. Don't fucking call security on my ass, nigga. I'll call the scene. I really will. I'm out of here.